Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae and today I'm going to share with you a quick tutorial on how to make this beautiful vibrant green pistachio paste. This pistachio paste is so delicious and easy to make and only takes one ingredient. That's right, there's no food coloring involved and I'm going to share with you two secrets to achieving this beautiful color. First, you will need to start with the right type of pistachios. I have raw pistachios here and that means it's not salted and not roasted. So it's raw and you have to keep it in a refrigerator or freezer. So the reason you don't want to use roasted pistachios is because they are browned and brown color creates a brown paste. And I have a picture on my blog post, on the recipe post, a comparison of the pistachio paste made with roasted pistachios and with raw pistachios. And the, um, the look is dramatic. It's really brown, unappetizing, but tastes delicious. Frankly, if you don't care about their look, you can go ahead and use roasted pistachios. But if you really want to get this beautiful, vibrant green color, you do need to have a raw pistachios. I get it on Amazon. I'll put a link uh, for the two brands that I usually use in the description below. Um, and the second secret is we're going to go extra mile and blanch and remove the skins from this pistachios because the skins contribute into the color, add specks and everything, so we don't want that. Uh, in order to remove the skins, I'm going to show you a super quick and easy way to do that. So I already boiled water here, so I'm going to add my pistachios and let it sit for about a minute and no longer than a minute. Make sure it's not boiling water, we just want really hot water. So it's been about a minute, I'm going to strain it get the excess water out as much as possible and put it on the clean kitchen towel. So as you can see, the skin is almost falling on its own and you just go ahead and rub it between the kitchen towels and it will just magically peel. It's really easy. A little cumbersome, but this step is super worth it to get that beautiful vibrant green color. Now we'll just go ahead and pick out the peeled nuts and put it on a clean plate and we'll, we'll make the paste. I peeled all the pistachios. It took about 25 minutes. And yes, it feels like it took 25 hours, but again, it's worth it. Um, you can put your favorite podcast or movie on and get to work and it will be beautiful. Look at this, how vibrant green color it is. Now what we'll do is we're going to put uh, the pistachios into the food processor and uh, and then we'll process it in the food processor for about three to five minutes. Usually it takes five minutes if you have a powerful food processor like this. And it will go through a few stages from whole nuts, it will go crumbly, and then it will go like ground nuts. And then uh, gradually it will turn into a paste. One trick, if, it, the, if the paste it balls up and doesn't smooth out, Add a little bit of water. Water is totally fine. I usually add about a teaspoon at a time and it just helps the paste to smooth out and run smoother. So I'll show you how it works out. Really easy. Let's take a peek. So it looks really crumbly like this. Give it a good stir too, because on the sides it's getting, it's getting there. And it's really thick. It's really thick like this. And that's why we do want to add a little bit of water to help it out. I'm going to add just about a teaspoon. We don't want it too much. I'm 
I'm going to give it another stir. It's looking good. Thicker and finer. It's getting there, but it's really thick. It does need a little more water. On the sides though, it's really nice and smooth. So. Okay, another teaspoon of water. Okay, uh, the paste is nice and smooth and finished. Let me show you how it looks. Super smooth and beautiful color. A little darker than my other pistachio paste because I use different brand, but nonetheless, it's still nice and green with no food coloring. I will link the other brand of pistachios that is really un uniformly green, and I really like that one better. But this one is still good, it tastes amazing, and I'm going to show you how to you can use this paste in your other recipes too. There are so many ways to use homemade pistachio paste. Um, I use it often in my desserts like pistachio macarons, pistachio buttercream. Um, the recipe is on my website. American buttercream with pistachio paste is just so delicious. Another favorite recipe that I like to use pistachio paste is my white chocolate pistachio mousse so absolutely delicious i fill my eclairs with it and it's just out of this world delicious dessert and or you can simply use it in place of buttercream you can smear it on the toast or if you're fancy you can toast uh, spread it on the croissant and um, the possibilities are endless it's just so so versatile and absolutely delicious you're not gonna regret it and you know you can add other other add-ins like honey or powdered sugar to sweeten it up i usually don't do that because like i said i used it in dessert recipes that are already sweet and it's just perfect so i really hope you will try this recipe and if you do please let me know in the comments below or you can also leave a comment on my website thank you so much for watching have a great day bye